Today, we're diving into the world of succession, or how ecosystems change and grow over time. Specifically, we're going to explore two types of succession, primary and secondary. Succession is the natural process by which ecosystems develop and recover, and understanding these two types helps us see how life bounces back after major changes. Ready? Let's get started. Before we dive into the differences, let's quickly cover what succession is. Succession is the process by which an ecosystem changes over time, especially after it's been disrupted. It's kind of like starting over. Plants and animals gradually move back into an area, filling in the gaps until the ecosystem is healthy and stable again. Succession happens in stages, and the first species to show up in an area are called pioneer species. These are the hardy plants, like mosses and lichens, that can survive in tough conditions. Over time, more species join in, and the ecosystem grows more complex. Eventually, it reaches a climax community, which is a stable and mature ecosystem. Now, let's break down the two types, primary and secondary succession. Primary succession happens when an area starts with no soil and no life, like a blank canvas. This usually occurs after a major event that completely wipes the slate clean, like a volcanic eruption or a glacier retreating. When the lava cools or the ice melts, you're left with bare rock. No plants, no animals, no soil. So, how does life return to an area like this? It starts with those pioneer species we mentioned earlier, like lichens and mosses, which are tough enough to survive on bare rock. These species don't need much to live. They can grow directly on the rock and help break it down into smaller pieces. Over time, as the pioneer species die and decompose, they add organic material to the ground, slowly building up soil. With more soil comes more life. Grasses, small plants, and eventually shrubs and trees. It's a slow process, but little by little, the ecosystem builds itself up from scratch. An example of primary succession is what happens on newly formed volcanic islands. After the lava cools, pioneer species move in, followed by plants and animals, until the area becomes a fully functioning ecosystem. Secondary succession, on the other hand, happens when an ecosystem is disrupted, but there's still soil and life left behind. Think of it like hitting the reset button instead of starting from scratch. This can happen after events like forest fires, hurricanes, or farming. The land isn't totally barren, there's already soil in place, and sometimes seeds or roots survive underground. Because there's already a foundation to work with, secondary succession happens much faster than primary succession. Instead of starting with pioneer species like lichens, the area might already have grasses and shrubs that quickly take root. Over time, these are replaced by larger plants, like trees, and eventually, the ecosystem returns to its pre-disruption state or close to it. A great example of secondary succession is what happens after a forest fire. Even though the fire burns down trees and plants, the soil remains, and seeds that survived underground start to grow again. Animals return, trees regrow, and the forest eventually heals itself. So, what's the big difference between the two? Primary succession starts with no soil and happens in places where there was no previous life, like after a volcanic eruption. Secondary succession happens where soil and life already exist, but the area has been disturbed, like after a forest fire or farming. Understanding primary and secondary succession helps us see how resilient ecosystems can be, even after major disruptions, life has a way of coming back. But the speed and process depend on whether there's already a foundation of soil and life in place. Primary succession takes much longer, while secondary succession can happen relatively quickly because the basics, like soil, are already there. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you hear about a natural disaster or see new plants growing in a place that was once barren, Think about whether you're seeing primary or secondary succession in action.